Hey, y'all. Yeah, I just found out that the robots are in Texas. We just don't know where they are yet. Yep, the driving robots are in Texas. I found out. And like I said, we don't know where they're at yet. I'm going to get to that. But you know what we're talking about when we talk about robots. Talked about it before several times. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail. But we're talking about autonomous driverless trucks, right? We've talked about it before. All the technology. I've voiced my opinion on how I think all this new technology that's going into these trucks and cars, by the way, is heading us towards autonomous vehicles, both cars and trucks, right? The adaptive cruise control, the automatic braking, the lane keeping assist and lane variation, deviation warnings, all that stuff is all technology that is going into autonomous trucks and cars. Cars already have it. I heard GM's got one I advertised at on the Super Bowl even I saw where you can drive hands free even though you're really not supposed to. <laughs> all that stuff. The technology in this truck for the lane keeping is you can let go for a minute, but if you don't touch the wheel after a few seconds, it wants you to still be on the wheel. It's supposed to be an assistant, but it's going that way towards autonomous trucks. I'm just, I just know it is. And my problem is, like I've voiced before, and I'm not going to go into detail on how each one is, has a problem, is the technology is not ready. It just doesn't operate with enough percentage of accuracy for me anyway. I, I don't trust it, so I got to be on top of it and try not to use it as much as I can. And I don't know if I'm, all these new trucks and cars are coming out with it. And I don't know if you can opt out of it if you buy your car or buy your new truck if you bought a new Freightliner. I don't know that you can opt out of it. I don't know if you can go in with the computer and turn all that stuff off. I don't know. But if you know, let me know. But anyway, I found out that there's a vehicle technology company and they specialize in, at least they're specializing right now, in autonomous yard trucks. You know, yard dogs, hostler trucks, yard jockeys, whatever you want, wherever you call them where you're at, you know what I'm talking about. The, the trucks that pick up the trailers and move them around the yard, put them in the doors, take them back out onto the, on the yard, all that kind of stuff. They've deployed a fleet of autonomous yard trucks at an undisclosed location in Texas. All they'll say about this location is it's a Fortune 100 company and they have a 1.7 million square feet distribution center with 750 trailer staging spaces. That's all they'll say. And that could be a lot of places and I'm not going to speculate where it is. But what I am going to do is in the description and in the pinned comment, I'm going to put a link to the article that I read. And in that article is a video of these yard trucks moving around, moving trailers around, all that kind of stuff. And if you recognize where this yard is, this building, it shows the building, but they've got like logos and stuff blurred out. But if you recognize where this yard is or you think you do, let me know in the comments. I mean, they put the video out of these things working. So if we can guess where it is, I mean, I don't know why. I can speculate on why they don't want anybody to know where they're at yet. But I'm not going to do that either. But this is where we're starting at. Starting on the yard trucks. Autonomous, no drivers. And they say that it's going to reduce cost. It's going to improve safety. And the one that gets me is it says that it's going to give customers and companies uh, staffing flexibility with the ongoing labor shortage. And we get back to is there a driver shortage? Is there not? Or is it just a bunch of guys that used to work at a place running their yard dogs out of, out of a job? I don't know. You tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about automated yard dogs and trucks that are coming up. Because first the yard trucks and then yours or my truck. That's, that's the progression. That's where we're going. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. Stay tuned. Watch some more videos. 
I really appreciate all y'all that have subscribed, especially in the last couple of weeks since I've been back to work. And if you have already subscribed, I appreciate that. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and get hit the all notifications and the alarm bell for all, and you'll get all the notifications when I got a new video coming out. We appreciate it. We'll see you later.